Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. Take a look at this statement. New Hampshire uses more than twice as much energy as it produces. Now take a look at this. New Hampshire energy users transportation one-third, residential one-third, commercial one-fifth, industrial one-eighth. And then this statement. The ISO forecast that both energy use and peak demand will increase in New England over the next 10 years. And that's the grid operator for New England. With me to talk about the real but sometimes unnoticed challenges currently facing electric utilities in the region's electric grid operator, therefore facing us, is Gus Fromoth, founder and managing director of Freedom Energy Logistics that operates in New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island, and who is past chair of the users section of ISO New England's grid operator. Welcome. Nice to have you here, Gus. Thank you, Fred. Uh, you've told me about some of the challenges facing not only your own Freedom Energy, but the grid operator, ISO New England. Um, and one of those challenges is what you say is a clash between the engineers and the politicians. What's going on there? Well, uh, when I say that, I'm talking mainly about the fact that states, uh, most of the states in New England, not New Hampshire necessarily, but the other states have rushed into a model where they want to go and purify uh, their energy sourcing so that it's all renewable or largely renewable. Yeah. And states have passed legislation mandating that the consumption of energy in that state mm. will become much more renewable uh, supported in the future than it is now. And as an example, Rhode Island has passed a law stating that 100% of the energy consumed in Rhode Island through the utility consumption now yep. must be uh, uh, totally renewable by 2033. Ah. So, and other states ambitious, are not, ambitious, and other states are not far behind. Not far behind. Well, that leads to this question. Another challenge, another challenge you highlighted is that uh, five of the New England states are aggressively pursuing carbon reduction. Right. New Hampshire is not one of them. Why? Well, uh, the governor put it very well when he stayed uh, back in uh, I think 2016 or uh, 17 or 18 when he was asked that same question that the other states were going overboard with their commitment to renewables. They're spending a lot of money on it. They're yeah. creating incentives to trying to drive users to renewables. And it's costing the state and the ratepayers in those states significant dollars on their electric bill. And it's going to continue to climb. In New Hampshire, he said, let's sit back and wait mm -hmm. and see whether or not we need to do anything. Because if this renewable passion takes hold in the other states, there'll be more than enough for us to draw into New Hampshire because, as you know, the ISO operates a power pool and yep. all the energy generated here in the other states goes into that same pool and we all draw from that pool. Right, right, exactly. Um, now, you've been involved with energy in New Hampshire, in New England for 30 plus years uh, with your own Freedom Energy and right. with ISO New England, the grid operator. Right. Um, you're concerned, you have expressed to me some concern over the future of reliability and uh, expense um, and the expense of electricity landscape in New England. Just talk about that. Well, New England is very dependent upon natural gas to fuel its power plants. Right. And our power plants are rationed on natural gas basically in the wintertime because most of that gas goes to firm customers. Mm -hmm. So the power plants need to go and have a backup plan mm -hmm. and step in. Now we did a very good job starting in 2000 by reducing both the coal and the oil dependency in New England to make electricity. But we upgraded our natural gas usage, but we've not been able to go and harness that because more natural gas is not coming into New England because of the pipelines being exactly. uh, disallowed. Yep. So now we have to go and depend upon other sources or a source from outside the region to supplement our power requirements in the winter. What's your outlook for energy, electricity in New England for the next uh, five, ten years, just generally? Well, generally speaking, I, I see, of course, that there's this move to transition over to electricity-powered energy sources for all of our applications. Yep. But that's going to take a very, very long time. Uh, one of the things that's going on is the idea of trying to get EVs up and running, trying to make more households electricity dependent and not natural gas or fuel yep. oil dependent. And that's also going to take an awful long time to convert those households. But the impact of that will be to grow electricity consumption substantially. 
Gus Fromuth, who is uh, founder and managing director of uh, Freedom Energy Logistics. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. Nice to have you here. And if you missed part of that briefing on electricity in New England and New Hampshire, uh, you can go to WMUR.com where it will be posted all this week.